Are you getting bored again? What can you do to stay busy? After watching our video, you will have plenty of answers to this question. Tiny warriors? Frisbees made out of disposable plates? Sponge badminton? You will learn how to make all that and much more today! For this idea, take a pair of sponges and long rulers. Make a cut on the side of each sponge. Be sure to use a sharp knife. Now fit the sponges on the rulers, like this. Take a balloon and try to test the new rackets. This kind of badminton is ideal for indoors. Soft rackets, weightless birdie. And it's good for playing outside if the weather is calm and not windy. Do you like this idea? Hurry up and bring it to life so you can sharpen your skills! We have a great idea for a game to make your friends happy! Print funny pictures! Show them to your friends one by one and ask them to act out what's in the picture. Emotion, posture, gesture, anything! The funnier the pictures, the more fun you will have! Whoever acts the picture out most accurately or most creatively wins! Don't forget to take selfies during the game! For the next idea, take a few CDs. Cut them into triangles using scissors. Make sure to use really sharp scissors. Dull ones won't be able to do the trick. Now take a stencil with a geometric bear pattern. Choose the appropriate triangles and glue them to the corresponding areas on paper. Cover the bear completely. Wait until the glue dries and insert the mosaic picture into a frame. This is how you can put old CDs to use. It's time to clear out all your old boxes! What happens when some friends gather with a tape measure? We are about to show you! Take a couple of glasses and put them on a flat surface. Let's start the game! Get the tape measure out and put its end in a glass like this. Put a tennis ball on the tape. The winning point is awarded when the ball goes all the way and falls into the glass. Try it yourself! Did you pull it off? And now try to pull out the tape. The longer the track for the ball, the more points you get. Get ready! It won't be easy! And be sure to write in the comments what distance you managed to handle! For the next idea, take a paper with printed circles. Fold the sheet in half with the pattern facing outwards. Straighten it and then fold it in half on the other side. Bend the side parts to the center from two sides. Fold one corner like this and the second in the opposite direction. Straighten to get a rectangle and bend this corner inside. Bend the second corner on the other side. Fold the large bottom corner inward. Fold the top corner inside too, pushing it under the strip. Fold sharp corners in to get a square. Open it and bend the little triangles like this. Fold all the corners inward. What do you think this is? A normal square? Actually, it's a top. Not a plain one, but one with a hypnotizing effect. Spin it! You are getting sleepy! And now take a couple of disposable plates. Cut circles in their centers. Fold them face to face and hot glue the edges. Your new frisbee is ready! Let's test the new toy on the street! Throw it! It flies perfectly! Another throw! Come on! Join our fun! For the next idea, take a piece of colored paper. Fold it in half like this. Unfold it. And bend the edges to the brake line like this. Unbend one end and make another smaller bend. Turn the sheet over.
and bend the edges. Press well so that the paper does not move away. Turn the sheet over again and fold the corners on the folds. Fold the sheet in half and secure it like this. Fold it in half again. Fill the pockets with money. A paper wallet is ready! Will you try to make it too? For this idea, you will need paints and your friend's back. Ask your friend to lift their shirt and lean forward. Now take paint and a thick brush and draw a face on the back. Draw the eyes closer to the lower back and then the nose and a mouth. When the paint is dry, start playing. Who said something about Mr. Grumpy? Now say it to my face! And now take plastic straws. Cut them into small pieces using scissors. Build a man from the pieces. The torso, the legs, the arms. Make cuts in one of the pieces of the straw. Take a couple of cardboard circles. Make a hole in the center of each circle using a toothpick. Take a skein of thread. String the straws on the thread. Make legs. Direct the threads in the holes on the sides and string several more straws to make the arms. Leave small pieces of thread on the sides of the figure. Put the cardboard circles on instead of shoes. And now take a cardboard sword and tie it to the hands of the little man. Make an opponent for him. Take a cardboard box and cut a pair of holes on the sides with a box cutter. Turn it over and make an incision in the middle. Put the little man on the platform, pass the threads down, and hold them with your friend. The warriors come to life in your hands and the battle begins! Look at them go! May the best man win! And now take a sheet of cardboard and a pair of wooden skewers. Apply a heart stencil to the cardboard. And go over it. Cut it out along the contour. And now paint the cardboard heart in a bright color. Color both sides. Now take the skewers and pierce the heart with them. Do it crosswise like this. String clay balls on the ends on one side and paper arrows on the other. Put the design on your finger and watch the magic happening. The pierced heart stays upright without falling. And if you put it on your nose, it is still keeping balance. Miracles are all around us! And now we will show you what to make using an old clutch. Take a yellow satin ribbon and hot glue it in the center like this. Continue to cover the clutch with strips of different widths and colors. Be sure the colors are as bright as possible. Done or not? Decorate the edge with pom-poms. Now we're truly done! How do you like this transformation? Not a trace is left of the old clutch. Just positive vibes! Girls will be girls! As soon as it comes to sharing candy, we start fighting and it begins immediately! This is my candy! No, it's mine! No, it's mine! Tired of fighting because of food? These problems can easily be avoided. You will need some double-sided tape. Cut off pieces of tape and attach them to clothes. Attach the candies to the other side of the tape. Stick on as many pieces as you want. Your friend will definitely appreciate your imagination. Now she can choose any candy she wants. Don't be greedy. Sharing is caring. Did you like our ideas? Tell us in the comments which one helped you cope with boredom. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, click the bell, and tell your friends about us.